Hi, this is Dr. Wes Fryer with Mapping Media to the Common Core, and in this screencast, I would like to show you how you can use a free app for your iPad called Spreaker DJ to create a radio show or an audio podcast. There are 12 different products in the Mapping Media to the Common Core framework, and there are lots of different ways to create each of these products. When you go to the one on radio show and you select tools you'll see a bunch of different choices and um, although you can do this without an iPad the, the app that I'm going to show today is Spreaker DJ and just about an hour or so ago I interviewed my wife and created this uh, podcast which was about 15 minutes long 16 minutes long and one of the great things about using an app like Spreaker is that it allows you to not only record the audio uh, radio show, but also have it hosted for you free online on a website that you can link to, and you can also embed it on a web page. So, without further ado, I'm going to jump right over here into the Spreaker DJ um, application. Um, there's some different options that you can do here. You can load up songs if you'd like to use those um, to, you know, fade in or out. And um, if you've got iTunes Match, you're going to have to have those downloaded to your actual iPad before you record. You can go ahead and plug headphones in, and then you're going to use this button at the bottom that says Push to Talk. Or you can go ahead and lock the microphone on if you want to. You will be able to hear a monitor audio, so you'll you'll hear what you're actually recording when you uh, are having headphones plugged in. And if, if you're not, then the audio is going to be muted. If you're going to use uh, music uh, to you know have a front bumper or um, bumpers, which are which are the audio sections in between, you're probably going to want to use that push to talk feature. Um, what I'm actually going to do in this one, though, I'm not going to use the fade and the advanced features. I'm just going to show you how to create a quick audio um, radio show. And so at the top but of the screen, you're going to press the little button that says record. And I guess I should say first, you do want to create an account on Spreaker, and you'll go ahead and press that button there in the corner, upper right corner that you see that has the outline of the person's head, and you're going to log in. So you're creating a free account first. You can broadcast live on Spreaker, and so if you want to tell people in advance that you're going to do a show, and then you can let them know with social media like Facebook or Twitter, you can do that. But I'm going to choose to record offline, which means the podcast or the radio show is going to be recorded here on my iPad, and then I'll have a chance to go ahead and upload it. Now, I will say, as soon as you click record offline, it's going to start recording. So there's not any countdown, three, two, one, go. It just immediately starts. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that um, right now. Good afternoon. It is April the 22nd, 2013. This is Wes Fryer. And I'm not recording anything at all <laughs> because I didn't push the record button. Don't I feel silly? All right, well, that's not a horrible thing. Let me go ahead and show you what happens if you, if you mess up. You press the red button at the top, click Stop Recording, and um, here's my episode from today, 18 seconds long. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that, and rather than put in the information and say Publish, I'm just going to click Delete Episode. So, yep, I'm sure I want to delete it. I feel real silly doing that, but hey, it's okay because I'm sure you might do the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and, before I start, uh, tap this button at the bottom to turn my microphone on, and you might see that the level meter at the bottom is showing that my microphone is picking up my audio. So let's try this again. So I'll tap the red dot, say record offline. Good afternoon. It is the 22nd of April, 2013. You're listening to Wes Fryer podcasting using the free application Spreaker DJ. All right, well, uh, that is just a very fast musical bumper there at the beginning. I'm actually not even monitoring that with audio. You probably do want to use headphones as you are uh, doing your podcast. And uh, I do want to point out that, yes, you have the option of having some audio effects that you're going to add in, like crowd applause and other things. And if you really want to cause people to have some flashbacks to their school days, you can ring the school bell or do other things like that. Um, but basically, this is it. You're going to do your audio interview. I certainly recommend that you've got questions prepared if you're going to be interviewing somebody. Um, this is basically a straight recording where you are going to, um, you know, do your entire show start to finish 
Uh, there's really not even a pause here on Spreaker as far as I've found. Uh, so once you're going, you're going, and uh, you're not going to stop. Uh, but it is nice if you record it offline because, like we just saw at the beginning, you can delete it if you make a mistake. <clears throat> but that is it. That's how it works. So we'll go ahead and tap our red button again, and, and you don't see a pause button, but I can stop my recording, and now that recording is is uh, in the can. It's finished. I really can't edit it, change it, do anything else other than delete it or publish it. So I am going to go ahead and publish the sample podcast, and so instead of clicking delete at the bottom, I'm going to uh, type my title here. So I'm going to call this uh, Sample Radio Show, and I have a chance to tap to select a destination show. Uh, if you haven't created a show before, you can click Create New Show. If you have, you just go ahead and tap there. You can put a location in if you want, uh, and then you can also put in a description. You can also edit your description later by going to the web page and I'm editing this. And now that I've got this all set, I'm going to click in the upper right corner where it says Publish It, and it's going to give me the option of making it public or not, and I could also auto-share it. Now I'm going to click Start Upload. You do want to make sure you are connected to the internet with a good, uh, fast internet connection. If you're at a school or another location, um, you may need to uh, check this in advance. Make sure that the network is set to allow the ports and the websites to be accessed by Spreaker so that this could be published. What you should see is an upload bar that just kind of cruised by and now an encoding bar. We've done a very fast show, so this is not taking very much time to complete. You can do up to 30 minute shows for free with speak with Spreaker. And now it is done. That is it. It is published on on the web. So I'm going to go ahead and click this button that says copy link to the clipboard. And then I'm going to double tap my home button so I can go over here to my Safari browser. And I'm just going to paste in this address at the top. And it will go ahead and open up my sample 1 minute and 29 second radio show. And if I'll go ahead and turn my um, audio sound effects up here and push play and see if we're going to be able to hear this. Good afternoon. It is the 22nd of April 2013. You're listening to West Fryer podcasting using the free application Spreaker DJ. All right, well, uh, that is just a very... Okay, so I'm not going to play uh, play that anymore for you. One thing I will note is when you click the share link on the web page, it does give you the option not only to have a direct link, but you can also embed it. However, the current version does not allow you to embed this code from the iPad. When you uh, click on that, it'll say copy, but it's really not clicked inside to copy that code. So you'll have to use the embed code on a regular web page. Um, I've tried the Chrome browser as well as the Safari browser, and that did not work. So anyway, Spreaker, that's a small limitation. It's really a fantastic tool. Um, I'd encourage you to check out other tools, resources, ideas, and sample student projects in the Mapping Media to the Common Core project and website, which you'll find on maps.playingwithmedia.com. Thanks a lot, and good luck creating radio shows. Please send me a tweet at WFryer, and let me know if you publish your own radio show, and I'll check it out.